teenager who spat at London bus driver during COVID-19 lockdown arrested, he tried to pay his fare with a bank card but it would not process. The bus driver was spat at after telling the teenager he could not travel on the bus unless he paid using an alternative option. Eeeeeee dirty little cunt. Got nothing to do with COVID-19. Spitting at someone is assault, or attempted assault if you just spat in their direction. God knows what he's got and slash or could give to someone else via bodily fluids, but COVID-19 wouldn't be the first thing I'd worry about. Arrestable and chargeable offense, no matter who it was or what for. I find it atrocious that police have to carry spit hoods to put over people's heads to stop them spitting in officers' faces when they are arrested or in custody. And for a bus fare being refused. How ludicrous. Seems like a reasonable response from a well-mannered child. Right now where I am transit is free and people enter from the rear doors. Every other seat is covered to promote social distancing and no one can sit within about 8 feet of the bus driver. Bus drivers have a difficult job in the best of times, why not be protecting them right now? This cheeky little cunt deserves a beating, but I feel like it could have been prevented. Deleted. This is so common, bus drivers in London carry swab kits in order to collect spit off the cabin windows and send off to the police. Do you not have fair deferrals over there? Sometimes people need to get home safe and have a legitimate reason that they temporarily can't pay. They're particularly likely to issue a deferral receipt to minors here, they just record your ID, give you the bill, and you pay it next time. Would probably reduce the amount of spitting going on. Don't spit, but a cussing might be in order. It's a emergency some flexibility is warranted. My city suspended fares because it's better to not have PPL get close to the drivers. And prior if my contactless card glitched and I got told I can't ride I'd probably have been shocked. That being said yes arrest the asshole, I just am surprised they're still having everyone breath on the driver while they swipe. Slightly off topic but those chip and pin readers on buses do my fucking tits in. I've had my card declined before and had no cash on me. Plenty money in the account their readers are just chide. Also heard a lot of folks saying that they get double charged or even charged when their card was declined. If I were you I'd check your online banking whenever you use your card on the bus. I've had payments that don't even mathematically make sense, like amounts that don't align with any of their bus fares. And of course to sort that out is an absolute chore. Having been stranded in the arse end of nowhere in the pissing rain, I'd advise you to carry cash just in case and because I got sick of stressing over weird charges they made I just stopped using my card, there's some fuckery going on at least in Edinburgh where they only rolled it out recently. He's a little shit and I'm glad he's getting punished, but how is this relevant world news? Just to play devil's advocate for a minute. First, it's absolute bullshit when digital payment options in public transit don't work. They've installed them them not only for our needs, but because it's cheaper and faster for the bus slash train slash whatever. If they push us to use it, but can't maintain it in working order, the ride should be free. We were having a lot of issues with this in San Francisco when I lived there. The buses were falling apart pretty badly, mechanically, to the point that they were struggling to keep enough of them running to drives all the routes at a reasonable frequency. It was so bad on my work slash home route that it was faster and more reliable to walk the one. 5. Miles each way. Adding broken payment systems to it was a big part of why I finally got a motorcycle. We've all got to get to work on time somehow. Around that time, I found out that SF was requiring taxis to have their credit card machines in working order. The cabbies were notorious for lying about them so they could pocket cash fares. Anyways, I don't know what went on with the kid and the bus driver, I wasn't there at the time. Maybe he was trying to get to his minimum wage essential job on a bus route that had left him high and dry before. Maybe he was at risk of being fired if he was late again. Maybe the bus driver was being a total dick to him about his card not working. Maybe there were a bunch of fare evaders he saw get on and the driver singled him out, despite him attempting to pay. I've seen all those things happen before. Regardless, spitting is plain rude, and especially nasty these days. 
but maybe the rudeness wasn't completely one-sided. Most public transit has cameras these days, it would be great to see that before jumping to conclusions. It's too easy to create a scandal with a teenager behaves badly during epidemic headline. Some bus drivers are proper jobs worths and have a superiority complex that's really annoying. I remember when I was a kid the local authority issued me a season ticket that was a couple of stops too short of my school, easy mistake, and they took a couple of months to issue me a new appropriate one. I thought no driver would take notice and just allow me to travel the couple of stops extra. I was right for the most part. However, one bus driver made it his mission every time I traveled to stop at the ticket's limit and make me get off the bus so I was left humiliated in front of my friends and made to walk the last two kilometers. That being said, don't spit on people, it's the most disrespectful thing I think anyone can do. Every bus should have a separated compartment for the driver with a lockable door. Driver can still come out to assist passengers or fix bus slash road issues, but is mostly untouchable by the crazies of the world. Buses here were made free and boarding through the rear door only to protect bus drivers during the pandemic. Really smart move in my opinion. This guy is a dick. But man, bus drivers can be the most unreasonable cunts. I watched one refuse entry to an old lady with her shopping cart because she had too big a bill and the driver couldn't be bothered making change. He had the change sitting there in his tray. I threw a smaller note in his face and told him to get fucked and let this lady on. I got off because I was furious. Nobody clapped though. Fuck that kid. Pro tip though. I drive city bus, and we're told in training, that if a person asks for a ride, you can not refuse them. It's a safety measure. The bus is going where it's going, regardless of if that person rides, or pays, or not. It's not policy to shout that info every time a customer can't pay, no. But it's against policy to refuse a ride to a passenger if they request one, even when they can't pay. So, in the future, if you need a lift, ask the driver for a ride and stipulate you have no payment. You can pay with a phone, smartwatch, or Oyster, free government prepay travel card. Most phones can store your bank card details. What this kid did was unnecessary on so many levels. In Philadelphia, if homeless people can't afford buses or trolleys for an emergency they will let you slide. And it's in their code they cannot deny a person that absolutely needs it. Not coming from the workers' pockets. There is no excuse for this kid to spit in the driver's face, but why the fuck are they still charging a fare? Two days ago my GF tried to kick someone out of Pet Valley where she works because they were breaking the rules, and they spit in her face. Every day in this pandemic my faith in humanity turns to disgust. The victim collected evidence in a testing kit that Transport for London, TFL, staff are provided with for incidents such as these. I'm horrified that this occurs frequently enough for there to be kits distributed for use in the event of it happening. That's disgusting. Along with illegal and potentially dangerous, it's also dumb. Most London bus drivers are pretty laid back, there are very few who are jobs worths. Especially during the current crisis, I would say the chances of a majority of bus drivers saying don't worry, just go sit down and ignoring the fare is pretty high given a genuine failure occurred after an attempt to pay. I've seen bus drivers on multiple occasions be very generous like that.